now and Thursday Satan spoke to me I didn't know who he was I didn't know he'd been speaking to me all my life but I didn't know and this is what he said he said you don't have to go to church Sunday he said Sunday is your birthday and my first cousin's birthday was September the 14th mine was October the 14th he said you don't have to go he said don't you celebrate you and your cousin celebrate his birthday and then you celebrate yours I said yeah That's the truth. I found an excuse. I went and told Ruth. I said, Ruth, I can't go Sunday. She said, why not? I said, it's my birthday. I said, you know, me and Buck get together on my birthday. And she said, oh, I, I thought you were going. I said, no. But I, boy, I was just happy. I come out of the house and I got in the car. I talked to God. This is what I told God. I said, Lord, I said, I can't, I won't be there Sunday. I said, but I'm thinking about you. That's the word I said. I said, but I'm thinking, I'm getting close. I'm getting close. I'm thinking about you, Lord, but I won't be there Sunday. And I said to myself, I got out of that Sunday. I got a little more time. But to make a long story short, you've all heard my testimony. That Saturday, about 11 o'clock, the guy I was going to party with dropped dead. I got in the car to head down to my aunt's house. He was my first cousin. And the Lord spoke to me. And I started crying. And this is what I said. I didn't, I didn't have any special prayer. I said, Lord, I give up. I'm coming. That's what I said. I didn't have any more excuses. God had backed me. One of the few things you want to accept him or die. God asked me, he said, do you want to see something else? And from that moment, my brothers and sisters, the Spirit of God, I didn't know what happened. The Spirit of God come into me and I changed. From that very moment, I didn't know Jesus swept. Well, I call it swept. I didn't know anything. I thought I did, but I didn't know anything. But God changed me. But he backed me to the corner where I no longer have excuses. You know what the young people hear, what their excuse is? I'm young. <laughs> huh? I'm young. I, I got plenty of time. Sister May, have you ever seen young people pass? All of you see young people. I've, I've, I've did two funerals of children born dead. They were, they, they were born dead. Well, they, they life, they life, but let's begin at conception. God just took them all back. But young people don't, it don't mean you don't mean anything. And if you think you got time, you don't have time. Because what you're doing is you're reasoning God out with your own mind. That's what I did. I was reasoning God out with my own mind.